So this video on jump counting is going to help you with repeated addition. And that's all jump counting is, repeated addition. That's what multiplication is. Say goodbye. Goodbye. So we're starting off very simple here, but jump counting and skip counting, however you want to say it, it's going to help us in so many different ways. And understanding repeated addition, this is the first thing that we have to understand in order to be strong multipliers. So I'm going with a very easy activity here to kind of understand what's happening here in the picture. And they want an addition sentence that describes the array that they have going on here. And it's just four ovals um, in each of them. And how many groups of ovals do we actually have? Well, one, two, three, four, five. If I go down to my jump skip count and I put on bingo markers on the first five boxes where I'm jump counting by fours, I'll see that I'll have my total of 20. And all that is is four plus four more plus four more plus four more plus four more. And so that's what I would pick. Let's see if they give us another one that's pretty good. So they gave us hearts as fours as well. In this case, there's only two groups of four. One group of four, two groups of four, so I'm gonna pick four plus four. And what we're gonna to start to understand is the multiplication piece to it as well. Four times two is gonna give me eight. This is a multiplication table, and remember, repeated addition is nothing more than multiplication. Let's do one more and we'll finish this up. All right, this time they gave us a bunch of threes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move my bingo chip up to the threes. And they gave me one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five of them. So we're going to slide these on. One, two, three, four, five. I've counted by threes five times, and that gives me a total of 15. We're just repeating three five times. Three plus three plus three plus three plus three will give us 15. Or, if we want to take a look at this a little different way, as we're moving into multiplication, 5 times 3 is 15. There you go. I hope this helped. I think that you'll get some value out of this, especially as we move forward in the other videos in the series of jump counting.